Junior, over here. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you, you, we talked before the fight, if he was the most powerful guy that, that you had faced. Now you got in there and you, you, you got a chance to feel the power. How does it stack up to other fighters that you've faced? <clears throat> it's hard to say, you know. I know that he has a lot of power, you know. He, he connected the hand and it's done. Yeah, one more victim, vict victim of him, you know, that, of that power. He, well, that's it. Can you tell us a little bit about what the plan was, what, what you were hoping to do in there? Yeah, my, my plan was that's the, the thing, you know. I, I committed the same mistake I did in the last fight. If you remember the last fight, um, I threw an over, overhand right, right on, uh, on uh, Derek Lewis, and he connected back. I, 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 didn't, I didn't connect the punch, and he, he punched me back. And that was a pretty, pretty hard punch, you know. And now the same thing, I saw the, I saw the opening, and I threw the overhand right, and I, gave, I kind of gave him the back, and he punched me, you know. And, the, the, and, and that guy, when he connects the punch, you know, it's, uh, it's over. So, uh, yeah, I didn't follow what I was planning to do. You know, I was supposed to move and to, supposed to throw more straight punches to keep, him, to keep the distance, uh, 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 especially at the beginning. Well, in a fight like this where it's, you know, two big guys swinging at each other and it kind of seems like it's who connects first that often decides it, what do you take away from it? How, what do you tell yourself to, to, to move forward after this? Well, yeah, it's a, one, more, one more experience that I'm, I'm leaving right now, you know. For sure it's going to add a lot on my career because, uh, well, man, we are, I'm here for so long, you know. I've been on top of this division since the beginning, since the... My debut, you know, I faced so I've, I already fought so many guys, you know, and um, like you said, you know, this division is dangerous, especially this guy. He's a he's a little different. He has a lot of power, so once he connected the punch, you know, if I had um, followed the strategy a little more uh, with more attention. I think I would do very well because I was feeling good. I was feeling fine. You know, my, my, my punches were connecting, my kicks were connecting. And I felt, I felt good. I felt good, you know. But uh, the mistake was why uh, over, uh, overhand right? I should, I should keep, uh, stick on the strategy and throw straight punches. Maybe the jab and cross would be a better option. But, uh, when you see opportunities, you go too hungry for those opportunities. You you pay sometimes you pay a high price for that. Junior, after the fight, you and Francis shared a, a few words. What what was said between the two of you at the end of the fight? Uh, he was saying something that what he said in the past <laughs> about uh, family and thing. He was trying to explain. You know, I you know. Uh, he's a he's a kind of nice guy, you know. I think when he say stupid things, uh, someone's telling him to say that. So uh, yeah, that was nice of him, you know, to say that. I I, I you know I think he deserved the swing, you know. Um, he's a he's a like I said, you know, he's an excellent uh, rep representant rep representant for this division, you know, uh, a big guy with a lot of power. The type of guy that I, I, I like to watch. So, man, th to tell you the truth, I can't wait to face him again. Junior right here, right here at the back. Um, sometimes fighters go into fights, they, they think they know what exactly their opponent is going to do, how powerful or, or how good on the ground their opponent will be. Did That said, did Ngannou's, his amount of power, did it almost surprise you? Not really, you know. Actually, it's a big mistake when you think you know everything what's going to happen in the fight or everything what it's going to do because you never know. You never know what's going to happen in a fight. Fights fight, man. And it's uh, the hardest sport in this world, you know, especially this division. You know, it's, this is the most dangerous division, no doubts. And, um, well, I cannot tell you the, the, his power surprised me. But uh, what, what was uh, a... a you know what? I 
I kind of, I don't want to take any credit for him, but I kind of gave him that victory. Because why? Through that overhand right and get closer to him, you know, give him the chance to, to answer on top. Because he, that's what he does. Every time you miss a punch on him, he's, he's right there to, to reply to that, you know. So it was a big mistake. Like I said, I did in the, in the, in the, in the fight with Derek Lewis, but uh, I was able to, you know, I was able to back round, back, you know, but uh, yeah, this time it didn't work. This seemed to be a title eliminator, eliminator. with the uh, fight going uh, Francis's way. Do you still feel like you're one of the top five best heavyweights in the UFC? Of course, man. I faced all, all of them. Uh, I, like I said, I've been here since 2008, and since 2008, I'm on top of this division, you know. I'm always among the, the, the top fighters, and uh, I don't think it's, uh, it's taking away any credit from, from me, you know. It's, uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, congratulations to Francis Ngannou, but, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to work hard to, to have this fight again. Junior, I know the fight just ended, but w what do you envision will be next for you coming up? Well, it, w it wasn't on my, my planes, so I don't really know uh, what to tell you right now. I don't have plans for, I had a lot of plans, you know, in a different, in a different situation, a different results. But it's, it's so hard, you know, to, to build your way up in this division, in this sport, you know. And it's, you know, everything, sometimes everything, all of a sudden, you know, disappear in front of you. So, yeah, but, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a positive guy, like I said, you know, and I'm ready to rebuild. I know how to do it. Like I said, I'm made of truth and I'm, you know, I'm truth. And so I know how to do it again and I will do it again, you know. And, uh, yeah, good job for it. Uh, Congratulations for him, like I said. Junior, on Wednesday you said that staying active is very important to you and you want to have three fights per year. Is that still something you think about or do you want to take a pause and maybe uh, go back to camp and take a longer time uh, off this time? No, no. Uh, the actually, that's still my, my goal. You know, uh, actually, that's, this is kind of uh, having another fight it's kind of a, a medicine for me, you know, to heal this injury that uh, defeat causes on you. So, uh, yeah, I want to fight as soon as I, I'm able to fight again, you know. Let's go back home, think about everything will happen, you know, uh, and go get back to the work, you know, get back to do this. I love to do this, man. I really believe I... I believe I belong to this to this world, you know, the world of fighting. And like I said, I was I was having like good times, you know, building up my my chance to fight for the title again, and even to fight to face one day one boxing guy. But uh, I think it's gonna take a little bit more time now.